it worked. Hey guys, how's it going? Olga will be here and today I'm gonna move for some funnel pour and as you know we're moving and I'm on a challenge to use up all the colors that I haven't been using for a while so I don't need to pack them and move them and one of the such colors was bronze by Artist Loft into this color and I also mixed in some antique gold by Sargent in it and this is the color that I got this is very very unusual color for me but I actually like it a lot I'm not sure if the camera is going to be able to reflect it but it's like I don't know I feel like it's a snaky snake color it's a beautiful metallic color but definitely not something in my regular uh, palette so yeah I want to use it up today and I think this color is gonna complement the um, phalo green this is a phalo green and to spice things up i want to add some red to it it's uh, cadmium red cadmium red and of course some black and white i just think it's going to also add some nice contrast so i want to work with black negative space but i think without white this would be too dark so i'm adding a little bit of white Normally I don't go into as much detail on my color selection, but yeah, that's what I'm doing today. And all of the colors are mixed with just fluid troll and water. So I'm gonna get started. Today I'm working on 16 by 20 canvas and first I'm going to apply the negative space. Like I said, I'm working with black and negative space and sometimes I forget, but I think it's very important to when you apply in the negative space to cover the sides from the very beginning because after that it can be much harder to do so if you like to work with negative space i highly recommend you to take care of the sides from the very beginning halfway and I see that I might have not enough paint to go through entire canvas so I'm just adding a little bit more and this is what I like this technique for I think it's very handy because whenever you travel your funnel across the canvas and see that there is not enough paint you can always add a little more
I have some paint under the black and the torching helps those colors to show up in the form of the tiniest cells and I think this looks pretty cool. By the way, I did not add any silicone to my mixture today. Alright guys, let me take you for a close-up. So I think that this turned out pretty cool. It reminds me of some uh, deep ocean scene or maybe even like a dance of jellyfish. I think that would make it a pretty good name for this piece. I really like how those colors play together and the lacing is just beautiful. Let me know what you guys think and thank you so much for watching. If you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing. Happy pouring and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.